Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Royal Blue Effects channel, where we teach smart money concepts. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, how to identify imbalance and uh, the psychology behind imbalance as well. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. It will definitely help out the channel for future content. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. All right, guys, so have you ever been in a situation where the markets move like this, for example, and all of a sudden they crash? And vice versa, when the market's coming from a you know, downtrend like this, and market just moves up like this crazy, right? Now, this move is caused by the banks, this move right here, okay? And in this move, is where we can identify a lot of imbalance. And what imbalance is essentially is an area where price moved in so fast that the retail seller, or the retail uh, traders like ourselves, weren't able to catch uh, a sell in here. We weren't able to uh, sell uh, with this move, right? It didn't give a, it didn't give the retail traders a chance to sell. So what the market's going to have to do eventually is pull back up like this to fill in this imbalance, this empty area where neither wicks or bodies are filling fill the fill this area in, right? So when the market pulls up like this, it's filling this huge imbalance, giving it a chance for the next sellers to come in to take that move down. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a scenario right to the left here and show you what that, what imbalance truly means. Okay. So here's an example of imbalance. Okay. When the market, when this huge move pushed down, it didn't give, this is, this is the imbalance here. Okay. It didn't give any chance for the other sellers to come in to sell this, to sell this move here at a fair price. So what the market's doing is it's trickling back up. Uh, in this area, in this imbalance, to fill this imbalance out, to give those the rest of the sellers a chance to sell the market from here, and that's how that's what imbalance is essentially. Okay, you can find imbalance everywhere. In fact, imbalance is everywhere. It's everywhere that we see. For example, here is a lot of imbalance, right? So what the market did eventually is fill that imbalance out. Okay, here's a lot of imbalance too. Market. Uh, market uh, filled up this imbalance. Um, you can see imbalance here as well, right here. Uh, and look at look what the market did here. It filled out this imbalance, right? So you can identify it and see it everywhere. But now what does imbalance really have to do with our trading though, okay? Um, to understand imbalance, you have to understand its psychology. And the psychology behind it really is when you see a wild move like this made by the institutional um, uh, institutional people is our psychology of understanding is to understand that the market has to come back up. It has to come back up and fill us in balance. And that tells us, okay, if it comes back up, then we have the chance to resell the market again at a fair price. Okay. And now, Will it work all the time when price is doing a lower lows like this? And will, is it going to work all the time for us to wait, you know, for us to wait for the market to come back here and then eventually look for the sells here? No, it's not going to work all the time because uh, imbalance can also do this. For example, when price is pushing up like this, okay, and then we take a big sell and now here's all the imbalance that needs to be filled out, right? Price could easily just do this, right? And look at all this imbalance for and then come back down here, fill it, and go right back up and start shooting back up. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a change of direction either. Okay. Imbalance doesn't tell us that market's going to change direction or it's going to continue in that same direction, like how it did here. See? But it's a good, but it's a good way, a psychological way to understand how imbalance can be used as far as prediction goes. Uh, for us predicting for potential moves to the upside or to the downside. So let's give it, let's show you another example here. When market was making lower lows here, right? Price pushed up very aggressively. And here's a nice 
uh, imbalance area right here that price is showing us right here. Okay. And, and there was a lot of imbalance in here at the time until market filled all this area right here. So it filled up all this candle, this imbalance right here, and price started pushing up. But we know this area <clears throat> right here is open. This area of imbalance wasn't, um, wasn't uh, received yet. We, nobody sold here at the fairest of the fairest prices. So what did market do? Market came back down here to the imbalance to fill out, fill out uh, the, you know, the correct price where everybody wanted to buy it at and price took off, you see? Um, so this is why we use this type of, uh, we use imbalance. One more last example here, you can see it here again. Price pushed up to the upside very aggressively. We see some imbalance open, price came back to the, to the fair price where people wanted to buy it originally and price took off. That's as simple as that. So I hope you guys understand what imbalance is. If you don't uh, quite understand it, you know, uh, you know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys know or what you guys want to know. If you guys don't know anything about this, you know, uh, if I can maybe do a further video on this, uh, on this uh, more imbalance. Other than that, guys, have a good day.